As part of our continuing mission at the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives, we collect home movies of Florida in all film and videotape formats. These home movies chronicle vacations, family events, and seemingly random scenes that capture the social context of life from a bygone era. No home movie collection is too dull for us, and let me tell you, we've seen it all. I mean, every imaginable weird thing that families do, we've seen it. No matter what, these are still valuable and unique historical records and are just as important as our original news materials. Donations of home movies come from individuals and from other organizations or institutions. Sometimes they even show up as an unexpected gift and sometimes the donors just drop them off. Each archive will process their moving image collections differently, but this is how we do it. The first step is to make sure that the film relates to our collection policy. And in this case, it is a film about Miami Beach, so it does fit within uh, our mission and what we collect. Uh, and this particular film included some historical information from the donor which we will incorporate into our cataloging material. The next step is to take a look at the condition characteristics of the film and see if there are any deterioration issues or just bad stuff going on with the film reel itself. So we have an inventory preservation record checklist that we utilize to mark off the various characteristics of the film. Is it black and white? Uh, what format of film it is, and in this case it's a 16 millimeter film. Uh, it has perforations on both sides. It is silent and a little bit of odor, but not too much. And if there are any other indications about the quality, potential quality of the film, such as scratches, emotion damage, um, Anything else will make a note of that on the record. With collections that have multiple reels, we need to figure out the order of the films and how we're going to accession them. In some cases, the donors will include numbering already on the reels, which is great when it happens because that's the case in this collection. It makes it a lot easier to put the films together and to accession them and actually assign a unique number to each item in the collection. So once we've done that and we filled out our inventory record with the condition characteristics, we can go ahead and assign a unique accession number for each item. And that's where we are with this collection is we have gone through, we've appraised it for uh, relevance to our collection policy, and we've put them in order based on what the donor has sent to us and we have assigned accession numbers for each item. And in this case, this collection has already been entered into our database. The next step is to actually prep these films and get them ready for digitization, but that'll be for another episode. Check your closets for shoeboxes full of films and videotapes. If they are relevant to Florida and this region, please consider donating them to us. In exchange, we'll give you a digital copy of your donation and your original films and videos will be permanently preserved in our vault. If your home movies don't fit in with our mission, or if you are hesitant to part with them, please at least store them in a cool interior closet on a middle shelf where the temperature and humidity is a bit more stable. Any outdoor storage or non-air conditioned location will speed up the deterioration of your home movies. And mold-loving creepy crawlies like to hide in reels of film and videotapes. Don't forget, you can donate your Florida home movies to us and they will become a part of history. Mm -hmm.